Can't wait, so I'm gonna have all right, everyone, I am here to give you my Walking Dead review. Now, if I sound weird, I, ha well, I, shouldn't, I don't think I should anymore because I've been having my retainer in for a while, but I have to keep it in this time because I haven't been wearing it lately. But um, I'm here to give you my review of this week's um, Walking Dead episode. Um, now, this episode is Season 5, Episode 10, and it's called... Uh, them. Um, now, if you want to know the date it came out, since I'm recording the videos now, from now on, the day the episode came out, just check the bottom of the video, and then you normally you'll know. Um, so, um, but the episode came out. Um, let me know. The episode starts. Um, Maggie. I'm just gonna kind. Um, Sasha and Dale. Are looking for because right now they have no food no water they don't even have a place to stay because of Gabriel because he's a dumbass um, I mean it's the truth um, that and uh, they try to get Noah home and it failed uh, but it's mainly because of Gabriel because they have nowhere to go um, and um, uh, Maggie's all depressed she's crying for obvious reasons because of Beth and stuff and Maggie kills a zombie um, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing how Maggie's going to act this, uh, well, at least this part of the season. Because, uh, this is the first time we've seen Maggie and Sasha. I'm looking forward to see how she's going to act. Since, uh, they've lost, you know, their loved ones. Beth, you know, Maggie lost her sister Beth. Um, and Sasha lost Bob and Tyrus. Not Tyrus, Tyrese. Um, I always botch his name. Because I have a friend named Tyrus, so... Well, I, I know someone famous that's named Tyrus, so it's going to take me... I mean, I might not even have to say that name again, so it might not even matter. But they're trying to find food. Dale finds a worm and he eats it. I mean, I'm really not going to blame him for it because he, he's probably starving to death. And um, Sasha doesn't find anything. And none of them find nothing. Um, so Maggie um, asks Sasha, how much time do we got left? No. Um... Something like that. How much far further? And, um... Sasha says about 60 miles because I think they're going to Washington. I think I don't know if they're going to Washington or Washington, D.C. I'm assuming they're going to Washington, D.C. Um, and Maggie's like, I wasn't talking about that. What she's talking about, she's wondering how long they have to survive without all no food or water or anything. And then it just cut to the theme song. I'm going to um, record this in small videos. Um, because I'm going to try to avoid the commercials. I doubt that's going to happen, but I'm going to give it my best shot. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens now, though. Alright, so now what happened is <clears throat> the truck or car that they were driving in runs out of gas. So they have to travel on foot now. And I forgot that they're not in Atlanta. I think they're still in North Carolina, but I'm not sure. Because um, Rick t tells Dale that it's been three weeks... I can't believe it's been three weeks, like, wow. But then again, they're way behind in the times than us. We're in, like, 2015. They're probably in, like, 2012. Um, but, um, so it's been three weeks, and, uh, he says, um, that, like, Beth is still alive in some way, that she's, that she's okay, because that's what he's referencing. He doesn't exactly say Beth, but... And I, and then um, Dale just says he's just hungry and he wants to find water, so he goes to look for it, probably to avoid the conversation. And Carol goes with him. And then um, Maggie, Carl finds a music box for Maggie, which I thought was cool. Um, and um, I have no, if you hear like noise in the back, I have no idea what that is. Um, so then um, Gabriel comes up. And talks about the religious clothes he's wearing, how the, you have to wear people's hair to uh, get rid of your sins or something like that. And um, she talks about how she knows because her father was religious and she used to be, but not anymore. And she says, uh, when you're ready to talk about, um, I don't know why he said this, but it was, like I said, he's an, he's an idiot. But then he says, um, when you're ready to talk about your father or Beth, I'm here, you can talk to me anytime. So then she gets pissed, um, and t and t and brings up the fact that he just ran and hid when he was supposed to save people. Because remember, he didn't save anyone. 
I really don't like Gabriel that much. I think he's an idiot. And uh, they need to, like, toughen him up a, a little bit. Um, because he, I'm surprised he survived this long. Probably because he hid in the church for so long, though. He definitely would have survived. And then um, Sasha sees that there's zombies um, behind them. And she's like, we can take them. But... Bishon doesn't want to waste the energy because they they have no food or water and they want to store energy, which uh, I think makes a lot of sense. Um, because you don't want to waste energy on killing a zombie because then you could die from it. And she talks about how you make the same mistakes as Tyrese used to make. Um, and um, Sasha's like me and Tyrese are nothing alike. Um, so I thought that was cool. Um, Sasha's, all, Sasha's obviously going through the changes and uh, something happens later that really affects it. So then um, Dale and Kale are looking in the woods for well for food. They don't find any. And um, Kale talks about um, how you're not we're not dead. You have to let you you have to feel the emotions and eventually you will because he's talking about how. Uh, how Beth died, and he has to feel the emotions, because Dale's not really refusing to feel the emotion. Um, he doesn't actually feel emotions at all, like, uh, he doesn't love anybody or anything. And then she gives him, um, Beth's knife, and, um, yeah, that was cool. And then she kisses him on the head. They're not in a relationship, though, I think it was just kind of like a friendly kind of kiss. So then, um, the, the whole group that, except for, um, Dale and Kale are out there, and a bunch of zombies come, and... They don't kill them, but they lure the zombies in, and then they move, and then they fall down this hill, which I think is a smart idea. Everybody does it except for Sasha. So he actually stabs him with a knife because I think uh, she's just kind of being an idiot. And she's also uh, going th probably still feeling the uh, the emotions of the loss of Bob and Tyrese. Um, and Michonne tells her to stop, but she's not stopping. So then everyone starts killing the zombies. Um... And I think Sasha accidentally stabbed Abraham, which I thought was a, a pretty cool scene. Well, pretty cool. I thought it was cool. So then uh, my son's like, I told you to stop. So then they kind of have a face off and then they walk away and then it just cut to commercial. So uh, I really like this stuff. I like, I'm liking the stuff with Sasha um, and Dale, but that's about it right now because that's all they're really focusing on. Um, but I really have, um, have enjoyed this stuff. Alright, so now, um, all the group finds cows, um, and Dale's like, I'm gonna circle around back, and I'll meet you guys up, um, up here. So then, uh, I think we're gonna scale look for food and stuff, and Maggie looks in one of the cows, and then she grabs the keys, unlocks the, uh, trunk, and opens it, and we see that there's a zombie that had been zip-tied, and... Like, he had, like, his mouth in, the, like, the little thing that you... And he'd been tied behind his back, and he had, like, his thing in the mouth. I, mouth. His mouth had been tied up. So I'm wondering if they're going to build to something like this, that there's going to be a new villain. Um, because, um... But I could be wrong, because, uh... But I don't know, I, I just think it was weird. But then, um... Maggie closes the co, and then the zombie's, like, knocking on the... Roof. I mean, not the, the trunk... And she tries to pull the keys out, but she can't because the zombie is holding on to the keys. So then Glenn opens it and stabs him. Well, the zombie, because I don't really know if it was a boy or a girl. And then um, um, Dale still can't find any food. He found a deer that had been skinned, but doesn't find any food. So then um, the whole group are just sitting there. And um, Abraham has booze, which is going to make it worse because the more he drinks... Because you get hungry, the more alcohol you drink. Um, so then, um, what happens next? Uh, oh, so then uh, just a bunch of dogs come out. And Eugene even talked about, too, how it can't get any worse. A bunch of dogs come out, stop bargaining, and Sasha kills them. And they eat the dogs. Um, now, I'll, I don't know whose dogs they were. I thought the villain was going to come then, but um, I think... Um, I mean, uh, everyone's like, oh, I never eat a dog. Well, in this case, they, they didn't have a choice because they have nothing else to eat, like literally nothing. So I probably would have eaten the dog too. Um, yeah, um, it would suck, but I wouldn't have a choice. Um, 
And they have a lot, of, they want like, they would like to actually put in decent sized dogs too. And then uh, Noah says um, that his brother, that's, tells Sasha that his brother, that um, her brother helped him out and he saved my life. And um, he said he is not sure if he can make it. And Sasha says, and you won't. No hesitation. I like how she, and she's like, don't think, eat. And then um, Gabriel puts like the tag um, of like the religious thing, he, like shirt he was wearing, and throws it in the fire. Um, I guess to symbolize that maybe hopefully he's starting to change and it's going to finally toughen up. I really hope so. Um, I thought this was uh, pretty decent stuff though. Um, and all this talk about food is making me hungry, so I'm going to go grab some food and then I'm going to finish watching this show. <clears throat> Okay, so, um, Glenn offers Maggie some water, and she doesn't want any, and Maggie talks about how, uh, she didn't believe, because he, Glenn tells her to talk to her, she talked about how she didn't believe Beth was alive, um, because after what happened with, uh, her father and everything, and, um, she says, uh, but when she found out she was alive and then she wasn't, she didn't know what to think, she's wondering if she should continue to fight anymore, because she's starting to not want to be alive, which I don't really, I, I guess, blame her, because she just lost both her father and her sister, um, and Glenn says, um, yes, you do, we always fight to be alive, um, and you want to be a part of this world, you know, pretty much part, tries to have confidence in her, and then she takes a sip of water, and then Abraham offers Sasha some booze, and, uh, she's like, that would just make things worse, and, uh, Abraham says, you're making things work, and she's worse. Like, well, you what you're doing is making things worse. And she talked about, and he said, "You're my friends." And Sasha's like, "We're not friends." So I don't. So uh, Sasha is just really just coming, being a bitch to everyone just because of what she lost. Um, and I really can't blame her. I actually thought Maggie was gonna be crazy, but it seems like Sasha's kind of the one that's just kind of resenting everybody. Maggie's at least being a little bit more open. And then Glenn offers Dale some water. He doesn't want any. And um, then he's like, I'm going to go uh, look for water. And then he goes in the woods, smokes a cigarette. He burns his hand with a cigarette. And then he starts to cry because he's upset about the loss about um, Beth. So um, this Beth death, Beth dying is really taking a toll on everyone and Tyrese. So uh, I'm actually enjoying these storylines right now. Um, and Dale's probably gonna, I was expecting someone like Carol or something to come up behind Dale and catch him crying, but it didn't happen, so, uh, I really enjoyed this, uh, part of the episode, though. Okay, so now, um, this was actually, this was actually a pretty cool stuff that just happened. Um, well, for me anyways, because I'm a little bit behind. It actually just ended, but not for me. So, Rick, you know, while everyone finds up... Somebody left water for the group. It says, from a friend. And they get suspicious about this because they think someone probably poisoned this water or drugged it or something. So they don't drink it because I don't really blame them. Um, I'm just wondering if this is going to lead to like some sort of villain or something. Because we had this water thing. We had that zombie that was tied up in the trunk. And then we had um, other things that has happened. Like the uh, walkers, they had like the skulls on the back of their heads or something. So I just wonder if there's going to be like some big villain coming, but I'm not really sure. Um, but we will see. And so then uh, Eugene tries to drink it, but Abraham knocks the water out of his hand. And he's like, we can't take the risk. So then it starts to rain. Uh, Rick doesn't want to take the risk too. <laughs> um, so then it starts to rain, and everybody's happy because they have water except for Dale, Sasha, and Maggie. And um, it gets worse though. And um, Dale tells them that there's a bone, so they, because earlier when he went into the woods, he saw a bone. Um, I didn't mention it because I didn't think it was going to be important, though. So they go to the bone, and uh, Maggie finds uh, a zombie and kills it. And we find out um, that this per that the zombie had a gun, so that they think the person probably just shot herself. And um, Carol tells her, sometimes we feel to a point where they have to give up, but we're not one of those people. So then everyone's sleeping, and Rick's talking to um, Glenn and Dale, I think, um, and Michonne. And Rick says um, that, um, and Carol too, 
and Kale talks about how Carl is going to be okay. He he always bounces back. And he's, Rick said he used to be concerned about uh, kids having to grow up in a world like this. That uh, they had, you know, because obviously this isn't a world for a kid because they go insane. Um, but he actually is happy about this because this is the way that the world's growing up and the world's growing up. This is the world. This is it. And Marshawn doesn't think this is it. She thinks there's, there's something more, but Rick doesn't believe it. And Rick talks, tells a story about um, how he asked his grandfather if he ever killed any Germans during World War Two. I'm assuming it's World War Two because I don't think uh, Rick's grandfather was old enough to, to be in World War One. And he doesn't answer. Said that's adult stuff. And he asked if he ever ki Well, he asked if Germans. Um, he and he asked if Germans ever tried to kill him. And he said that any time he got up, he felt like he was dead. Anyways. Um, and he always tell himself when he wakes up, it's time for war. Uh, and then um, Rick says that's where we are. We have to do what we need to do to survive, um, and we'll be okay. And um, Rick also says that um, what else does he say? Whatever happens in Washington, they're going to be okay. And um, Rick says that that's where we are. We're going to live to talk about this world, no matter where we are. We are the Walking Dead. And I just really like this speech because it kind of showed what the show represents. Um, and it just was a real, really good speech. And then Dale says, that's not, we ain't the walking dead. So then he walks off and uh, yeah, this was pretty strange behavior. But Well, it wasn't strange, but it was pretty cool. This was great stuff. I just really enjoyed this stuff. Um, and there's actually one more part, but I got to get something to drink because I just had those oyster crackers and my mouth is dry as crap right now. Alright, it's over. And this was a great ending. So, um... The rain is just... The wind is going crazy. And it's just shaking the barn doors. And they have to close them. Whereas a bunch of zombies are just going to break in. So all the groups just... Bit, just throws itself out the door. Except for Judith for... Except for Judith for obvious reasons. And, um... Um, blocks the door. And then, um... What happens next? Um, so then the next day, uh, the, 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 the we don't actually see that what happens, but it just cuts her Maggie waking up and Dale was still up, and he talks about how her father was tough and all these people, and he says that he fixed the music box. So then she thanks him, and then um, her and Sasha go out to watch the sunset, and Sasha says, um, "No one told me he doesn't think he can make it, but I don't think I can make it." And Maggie says, we're going to make it because that's our part. And then she says um, that Dale fixed the music box. So she tries to wind it, but he didn't fix it. Um, and they're having this nice moment. And then this random guy comes up and says, hi. Um, and they uh, aim their guns at him. He's like, I know you're suspicious about me because of stranger danger, but I'm a friend. So this was the guy that left the water on the road. Um... And we find out his name's Aaron. And he's like, I want to speak to the man in charge. Um, Rick, right? So then, um, this is already suspicious because he already knows Rick's name. So I have no clue how. And then the music box finally works. So I laughed when the music box finally cut on right after that. But, um, I'm not really sure where this is going. Um, like what he wants to talk to Rick about. And I have a feeling this guy is going to be... be I'm not sure if he's going to be trouble or not, but this guy does not... I have no clue what, what to say about this guy just because we just met him like two seconds ago. And we haven't seen anything from him. But Aaron, um, I don't know what to think because uh, the thing that makes me suspicious about him is he already knows who Rick is unless he's been following these people, but I'm not really sure. But that's the... Uh, that's uh, That was the end of the episode. Um... I thought this was actually a great episode. I really enjoyed this. I liked the stuff that happened with Dale, Sasha, and Maggie. I liked that whole storyline that they had. I liked Rick's speech of talking about the survival thing. Um, the uh, water thing. And I liked this new guy, Aaron. I'm wondering where they're going to go with him, what's going to happen. But um, other than that, that's my review of The Walking Dead. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any comments to talk about this episode, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you want to subscribe to me and continue watching future Walking Dead or any other videos I have going on in this channel, you can click right here. And I'll be back 
next week to give you yet another Walking Dead review.